Good morning, seventh graders. Today is Monday, May 11th. Hope you all had a great long weekend. I hope you got a, hope you got a lot of IXL done. Um, for those of you that got it all complete, good job. You did really well. For those of you that are still missing it, you still have time, but you need to start working on it, okay? I'd hate to put in those missing assignments at the end of the year and really bring your grade down. So please keep working on those if you have not turned them in yet. Today, we are gonna start a new lesson. Um, it's actually a continuation of what we've been doing, but it is a new lesson, okay? Um, so let me go ahead and share with you what we're going to be doing. So it's going to be this one right here, area between two shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and assign this to you. Okay, area between two shapes. So basically, we're going to be finding the area of two shapes, all right? And we're going to be subtracting them from one another to find the one that they're asking for. So let's do this first one together. So it says, what is the area of the shaded region? So we need to find the area of the green. So in order to do this, we need to find the area of the big triangle, find the area of the small triangle, and then subtract the two. So let's first do the big one. Remember, area of a triangle is base times height times one half, four divided by two. Okay, so if we do the big one first, we got our area equals <clears throat> 18 times 14, okay, divided by two. So if I do, I'm gonna get a calculator out for this. So if we do 18 times 14 divided by two, 126 is gonna be the area of the big triangle. Now let's find the area of the small triangle. We got eight and 10. So we got eight times 10, divided by two, which we know should be 40, right? Eight times 10 is 80, divided by two is 40. Now we just need to subtract those and we get, so if we subtract 126 minus 40, we get 86. So that is going to be the area of the shaded region, right? 86. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, so now we got two rectangles. So again, we need to find the rectangle, the large rectangle, the small rectangle, and subtract the two. So if we do the first one, the area of the big blue one, it's gonna be 12 times 19, okay? And 12 times 19, you get 228. Now let's find the area of the smaller white rectangle. You got 11 times nine, which is 99. In 228 minus 99, we get 129 is going to be the area of the shaded region, right? 129. Okay, let's look at a different one. This one's kind of just like we did, so we're going to move on to a different one. Okay, it's similar to what we just did. Same thing, I'm trying to find a circle. There's circle ones in here. So let's just do this one real quick. So we got, again, the larger one is gonna be 97 times 97. Okay, so that is going to be 97 times 97 is 9,409. And the area of the smaller one is going to be, oops, 62 times 62, 3,844. So we just need to subtract these two now. So 9,409 minus 3,844, we get 5,565. So we get 5,565. Okay, let's try another triangle one. Okay, so I'm gonna see actually if we go back, if we can get a circle one. Here we go, perfect. All right, so let's look at this. Remember, area of a circle, pi times your radius squared. Okay, so we need to find the circle, area of the big circle, area of the small circle, subtract the two. So let's start with the big circle. So as you can see, from here to here is half of 34, right? Half of 34 is 17. Okay, so I'm gonna write a little 17 over here. This side's gonna be 17. 
So the whole thing's 34. And then it's telling you right here that this is 11. So if I do this, right, this is 11. So from here to here, right, it's going to be 28. That's your radius of the big circle. Okay. So the big circle area equals pi times 28 squared. Okay. So I need to do 28 times 28 times 3.14 and area of the big circle is going to be 2461.76 now we're going to find the area of the small circle so it's going to be pi times radius of the small circle just the white one right is 17 right so 17 squared so if i do 17 times 17 times 3.14 you get 907.46. Now you just need to subtract the two. So we're going to take 2,461.76 and subtract 907.46 from that. So 2,461.76 minus 907.46. And we get 1,554.46. Point three. Okay, not too hard. So 1,554.3. And there you go. All right, so that is all. You're just going to see triangles, rectangles, squares, and circles. All right, so just remember those equations and try to do your best. Make sure you watch the video for five points, easy five points. You don't even have to listen if you don't want to. Just play the video and just keep it playing and go get a snack or something if you really don't want to watch the video, but you get five points for watching it. So just play it. Um, and then you get 10 points for getting up to hundred on this. All right, please do your best. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, hope you all have a good day.